me see here. Turn this around. So I found this spot, and I would have gone live earlier, but there was lots of music in the background. Quite a few fishermen out today. And I found a couple tusks, found some dollars, and I saw some dolphins, but there hasn't been anything recently. So let's get up close and personal and see what we can find. All right, let's check this one out. There we go. There's a gorgeous rough scallop. And if you're just tuning in, I am Beach Bum and Dad live on beautiful Pensacola Beach. And we are micro shelling. Let's see. Let's get a little closer. Looking for teeny tiny little sand dollars. Every once in a while, I'll stand up and stretch. And then we'll look for dolphins. But right now, good morning. We got Christian in. We got John in. I haven't live streamed in a couple weeks. Shellen has, well, let me just say it's been a little off. All right, let's look at a couple shells here. There's a calico scallop. There's a calico scallop. There's a serif. But I'm looking for a tusk shell. There's a common jingle. Oh, here we go. There's a sand dollar. Oh, look at here. And a little shark eye. All right, let me set these up on the side. Make a little, make a little circle so I can find them. Don't step on them. Oh, a couple sand dollars. All right, here we go. Sand dollar make you holla. There's one. I see a bunch of people checking in. Let me know where you're from. There's another sand dollar. It's been a couple weeks since I've gone live, and there were people from Europe, Australia. It was awesome. All right, let me stand up and stretch. Here's a little balloon. Pick that up. Put that a little higher up so it doesn't wash out. Let's see. So let me know where you're from. We're on beautiful Pensacola Beach, and we're micro-shelling. Maybe... Oh, look at that! Oh, that just washed in, look at that! Now that's pretty awesome. And that's a shark eye. You can see, no one's home. Well, I didn't notice, but I think, I think that one just washed right up. Here's another jingle. How's the water? All right, thanks for asking. It's a good time for this grandpa to stand up and stretch. You wanna see something beautiful? Look at this, y'all. Look at that. I'll even walk down there. Gotta make sure I don't step on the rack line there. Look at how clear it is. We got Alabama checking in. Get a little closer. I'm already wet, so you know it's like, what does it matter? When I was micro shelling that spot a little earlier, I was kneeling, and a wave came up, got my shoes wet, everything was wet. I see all kinds of people checking in. Let me know where you're from. Look at this beautiful Pensacola Beach. Look at that water, that is gorgeous. I would say I'm pretty warm right now. I don't know if it's 70. Oh, look at this. This is kind of funny. I'm gonna go slow. Here's a Pac-Man sand dollar. Let me see, let me turn a little bit. There you go. There's a Pac-Man sand dollar.
Well, the water being cold, I guess that's relative. You know, when I come out shelling in December and January, I'm not going in when it's 50s, but there are people that are out there swimming. It might be 70. I haven't checked recently, especially since I haven't been shelling. All right, let's get a little closer. I see some orange. Look at that beautiful scallop. We got Arkansas. Thanks for checking in. Let me turn a little bit. Because we're micro shelling, let me get back into micro shells. All right, and give a shout out if I miss something. That's easy to do. You know, sometimes I got the camera looking one way and I'm looking left. Well, hello, Peter. Welcome to beautiful Pensacola Beach. All right, so see what I was talking about as far as the keyhole? Whether you're micro shelling, especially when you're micro shelling, but whether you're micro shelling or just walking the beach, sometimes the sand dollars are hidden. And that's what you gotta look for. All right, let me move a little bit. Turn. Let's see. Let's grab this, see if I can move it a little bit. A piece of a broken broken sand out here. Let's see if we can uncover a tusk shell. Now if you've never seen a tusk shell, you know, think of, let me draw one here. Just think of an elephant tusk. They come down and they're, they're turned. And they're sharp at one end. Basically clear. Oh, there's a flat, no, it's broken. Basically clear like a straw, but it's a shell. Oh, look at this, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It's not too often you find a flat jingle. All right, let me turn a little bit. Let me show you this, Get a little closer. It's a calico scallop, and they come in all kinds of colors. Sometimes you get striping like that. Sometimes they're, you know, that one basically has, I guess you'd say, a white base with those stripes. All right, I'm gonna peek. Yep, there's a sand dollar out there. All right, I'm gonna step out. Here we go. Sand dollar make you holla. See it? Oh boy. Oh, look at that. The gulf washed it up higher for us. Let me tell you, finding sand dollars, that never gets old. I love finding sand dollars. And for those of you just jumping on the live stream, I would have gone a lot earlier, and there were quite, quite a few more shells. Oh, here we go. See the keyhole? Oh, so close, about 75 cents there. But there were all kinds of fishermen out this morning, and they had a, a boombox going so I couldn't live stream you know run the risk of a, a copyright strike and I just saw a fighter in here well good day there we go see I told you people would check in from all over we have Australia shelling with us now that let me tell you that is awesome oh, let me turn a little bit oh look at this I know I know I say oh a lot there's a sand dollar, but where? Okay, this is what caught my eye, but it's broken. There's another sand dollar. Susan in Australia, that is pretty cool. All right, let's go over here because I saw the tip of a fan. There we go. Now for a lot of people, that's a bucket list shell. Well, I guess, you know, the the sand dollar is as well. But flats are they're fairly common here on the Emerald Coast. Found a few this morning. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, all right, I'm gonna stand up and stretch. Let's check out the water, and then we'll see if that olive is still there. All right, time to get back shelling. 
So where is that olive? Oh, there we go. And if you're enjoying yourself and haven't subscribed, I'm Beach Bum and Dad. I shell as often as I can. You can also give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying yourself. I mean, how many times do you get, there we go, do you get to go virtual shelling? All right, there's a lettered olive. Let's go down a little bit. So I really want to show you a tusk shell. We found a couple sand dollars. Found, just found that lettered olive. Here we go. That's a serif with a barnacle on it. You can see no one's home. All right, tusk shell. Turn a little bit. Get a little closer. I don't know. Oh, here, here we go. Here's a new shell. Oh, look at that. All right, so that's a speckled telon, but look at here. Uh, that's a pretty good coral frag. And look at here, let me back up. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, okay, let me set the sand dollar down. So I wanna show you that flat. That's a gorgeous flat. Okay, I got wet on that one. <laughs> and there's that sand dollar. And I was recording a little while ago. All right, let me stand up and stretch. So I had to go set these down. When you find a spot like this, whether it's a, a heavier rack line. Look at that. Well, thanks, Peter. You got Belgium checking in. Boy, live streaming is awesome. You get people from all over. So anyway, when you find a spot like this, especially micro shelling, you can just sit here for hours, and I've been here at least an hour. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at here. Look at that. Now look at that sand dollar. Now if that one don't make you holla, I don't know what will. And y'all were here for that. Look at that. That's a dandy, and there's another flat. All right, I need to put these a little higher. I'm gonna slowly walk over to our spot. Well, hello, Carlos. We have South Padre Island checking in. You know, I visited South Padre Island once, and this was pre shelling addiction i've seen people shelling there you know posting photos and such let me turn here's where i'm putting everything i sure wish i would have gone shelling when i was there I've gotta move that a little higher and that's what we found so far oh, look at there good morning snoozeroni I bet you you've been wondering, when is BBD going to go live again? Well, as you know, Shellen's been a little off. The weather hasn't been conducive. The waves are just tremendous. They are huge. But today, gorgeous. Look at that. You know, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Look at that. Beautiful Pensacola Beach. No one's here Shellen. All the fishermen are gone. Oh, look at here. Sandella make you holla. Another one. Oh, and another flat. Let me get a little closer. I'm really sorry if I went too fast. Okay, that's not the flat I saw. Because, let me back up a little bit. That's the flat. That's the one I saw. Two gorgeous flats. And another sand dollar. Yeah, the last couple days have been pretty good. I'm looking. There's a shelling tip. When you find a spot like this, like I said, you could sit here for hours and just let the waves come up like that. 
So not only does the surf bring in shells, but look at that, it washes them around. So if I stand up and look, and y'all help me out, you might see another sand dollar. Well, I see some orange down here. It just looks like a little shell. And you can comment down below. Oh, look at this. All right. Now that is pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. I mean, that, all right. I found a couple tusks so far. But that's right up there with them. That is a false angel wing. I have, when I, oh, okay, there's a little bit of trash. I'll put that up. I haven't seen anyone find one of the true angel wings around here. I mean, when I go down south, that's one of the shells I look for. Let me show you. There's a crab. It's a speckled crab. Right around here, lots of jingles. And basically, you can find jingles all over the state. Well, good morning, Angela. Good to see you. We are on Pensacola Beach. We are looking for sand dollars, tusks, and any micro shell that might pop out at us. Oh, let me turn a little bit. Oh, I saw that. Okay. A little piece of coral on a shell. And I thought, oh, it's just a coral frag. All right, so I'm backing up. And I'm looking, looking, looking. And I think, oh, where'd it go? So a lot of times what happens, Okay, let me get a little closer because this is what I saw. I saw the tip of a fan. When you're shelling, you'll see something. Now this is just for illustrative purposes. You'll see something, and if you don't pick it up, you turn, and you're like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? So many times I think, all right, I'm gonna pick that out. It's not gonna move. Oh boy, all right. The waves are coming up, so we have to move our shell spot a little higher. So anyway, I'm mark that spot and move everything up here. The shark eye we found, Sarah. So as I was saying, you know, you see a sand dollar, you turn your head to find something else, and you look, and it's gone. A wave came up, either returned back to the Gulf or just hit it. Okay, for those of you just checking in, look at that. That is a pretty good coral frag. I mean, I found pieces a little bit bigger than that, but that's pretty basic, and you know, that's actually a pretty good one. Another little piece of trash. All right, so, it's probably gonna be high enough for a couple minutes. Oh, one more flat I left down. And an orange roughy. Look at that one, right there. That's gorgeous. All right, let me turn a little bit. We got a couple comments here. We have Susan checking in. Thank you for being here. Oh, look at this, look at it. Look at it. Oh no, I got wet. Oh. <laughs> All right, I really got soaked on that one. There's a teeny tiny little sand dollar. And that is a sand dollar test. None of these sand dollars are, are alive. So, micro shelling. Let me address that. When you look here, and this is gonna be gone pretty soon, the Gulf does reclaim its own. Anytime you see a shell report, you got to get out there right away. You can't go in, you know, two days or two months and say, well, I'm going to go to that spot and shell because the Gulf reclaims its own. So this is micro shelling. Let me get up close. There's a letter dollar. When you look, look at all these teeny tiny little shells. And when people come down here, you wouldn't believe this is a different world of shelling. Years ago, the first time, oh, let me turn, because look at here. There's a common auger. Nobody's home. I got down here, and I started looking around, and I was prone. 
I was lying there, nose in the shells and nose in the sand. And I was seeing shells I didn't even know existed. I mean, there was an olive in there. Come to find out, it's called a dwarf olive. Now, I haven't seen any today, but I, oh, you see like this. Look at here. See a little cone? Right at the tip of my pointer. That's a dusky cone. Look at that. And y'all were here for that one too. Now this one's not, okay, that one's broken. And that's not a dwarf olive. That's just a teeny tiny little lettered olive. All right, let me stand a moment. Stretch. There's a boat out there fishing. The cobia had been around. So when it's cobia season, you see the boats on the sandbar. They're out there looking for fish. All right, I think I see another flat down here, but it looks broken. All right, now let me think. Let me look into the comments here. There's a broken flat. All right, the other, the other question was about live streams. So this is, oh, 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 wait, 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 here we go. We found one, look at that. Oh, oh. now that is a dandy. That is a, that's a trophy tusk right there. And y'all were here for that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is a whopper. And look at here. Just washed up right at the tip of my, my shoe. Another sand dollar. You can find previous live streams. I try to schedule them, but you know, you never know. I've wanted to go live for the last couple weeks and oh, the weather has just been off. And then in between other projects, all right, here we go, speckled talon. But when I saw this spot today, I was like, I think I can go live here. Good morning. So let me move down a little bit. Another sheller came in and visiting with us that up so there are a couple thousand videos on my channel beach bum and dad shorts long form and a few live streams so you can subscribe and <laughs> I don't know how long it would take but you can binge shelling videos and beachy videos probably days yes ma'am and we're live at the I moment. Oh, she she heard I was live and she's like, uh, I'm going to back away because... No, well, thank you. Where are you from? Um, originally West Virginia, but I've been down here for seven years. Okay, so you, you're local then. Yeah. All right. Good for you. You know, you don't find too many people that actually were born here. A lot of us moved, right? You visit and you're like, I think I want to live there. Well, thanks for saying hi. So like I said, this is live. Once I'm done and save it, you can go in there. You'll be like, that was my voice. <laughs> oh, she's giggling. All right, let's get back to shelling. So there's a serif, no one's home. There's a lettered olive. Oh, I can't believe we found that tusk. That tusk was awesome. All right, Angela, round up the troops. I saw a few moments ago, I don't know. I get live streaming, next thing you know, it's an hour and 10 minutes. When Angela came out, she's like, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Well, thank you, silly hat. And when you get there, don't forget to subscribe. That'll mean the world. I was gonna see what that was. Oh, here, you know, when you see that, I was thinking, well, there's a lettered olive, and then you pull, it's a broken fighter. And I came out here because I saw, here we go, a couple serifs. Check, no one's home. That one's broken. Nope, oh, there was another serif. 
crafty mama asked me the other day she's been getting into some micro shell crafts she has um some car Yo, sand dollar sand dollar make you holla and i see another one okay y'all remind me crafts okay we're there we go there we go another one Look at that. That is an awesome handful. You know, before I moved here, yes, I'll get to the crafts. Before I moved here, I was like, I gotta move to Florida. I used to sleep to this. I'd find like an eight hour ocean sounds, turn that on, and go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. All right, so let me grab two more sand dollars. Look at this. There's one, where did the other one go? Oh, almost, hey. And, speckled telling, another one, teeny tiny one. See, that's what we're talking about, micro shelling. All right, crafts. So Crafty Mama, she's been making some uh, necklaces with micro shells and they're pretty cool let me tell you and then all right let's stand up and stretch while i'm telling the story and then some uh car deodorizers she'll take i see another flat i think it's broken she'll take um some beads some teeny little shells and then for weight at the end is uh when i was looking i saw a couple people walking up i'm waiting for someone to say Beach bum and dad. Um, she'll take a calico scalp for weight. And they look pretty cool. And you know, it has uh, the Hawaiian tropical smell. All right, there's a flat. And see, this is all fresh. Oh, uh, missed it. Where'd it go? This is all fresh right here. There's a flat. So we have a couple people checking in asking questions in the chat we are on pensacola beach i'm beach bum and dad and we are micro shelling and you can see it's kind of self-explanatory the shells right here aren't huge they're teeny tiny little micro shells and let's zoom in and you get up close and personal Here's the coquina. All right. Thank you. Same thank you to the Gulf for washing these for us. Let's move over a little bit. Pretty scallop. I know, Angela. You're pretty awesome. And it's been a good couple days for sand dollars and flats. I'm telling you, I don't know, to the tune of hundreds? Especially if you come out here you know, for a few hours and you have your eye tuned in. Okay, there's another little flat. It's a little broken one. Eh, maybe Crafty Mama can do something with it. Put it in one of her necklaces. Oh, here's some color. Ooh, a broken flat. That's too bad. That would have been gorgeous. Some dark color there. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, all right, let me back up. Because here, there's a flat. Here you go, Miss Angela. There's a flat for you. I can't even get it. Look at that. Like shaking. There's a flat. And look at that. Now that's That's the biggest lightning walk I've seen today. I found a teeny tiny one here, and then I think I found a smaller one a little bit farther down. That's the biggest one so far today. And good morning, Elizabeth. Anyone that's new, if you don't mind checking in, let us know when you're, where you're from. We've had the Lower South. We've had Australia. I don't recall because I'm trying to tune in on these shells. We had anyone from Europe yet? Oh wait, 
yeah, someone did say Belgium. Okay, that's a, uh, let me, the <laughs> camera, camera's blocking. That's a common auger. You can see no one's home. Let me get you a little closer, because we are micro-shelling Pensacola Beach. And we had one friend stop. She's like, are you beach bumming, Dad? That does happen once in a while. Especially the longer you're out. I'll be, I'll be shelling along, just walking, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, someone will, you know, I'll turn my head because I hear, sand dollar make you howa. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go in here and look. That's a broken rock snail. And that color, those are calico scallops. Uh, that's a, a slipper snail. And earlier, now I'll say it again because I don't know. If you know what it is, you can drop it in the chat right now. I found a, a couple flat. Well, this looks like a good spot. This has been washed around. There's a flat. A couple flat slipper snails. All right, I'm going to switch hands because I'm going to let you all focus right there. See, when you're shelling, you look for pieces, texture, spots, and colors. That's a piece of a nutmeg. All right, I knew there was a flat here. There's another flat. Looks like we're pushing back up to around 100. If you're just dropping in, we're on Pensacola Beach, Florida, and we are micro shelling. And every once in a while, I gotta stand and stretch. I still haven't put this one down. There's that big lightning whelk we just found, I don't know, a couple minutes ago. And we have found all kinds of sand dollars. Now I'm guessing, I think this is the top half. Yep, I've seen that one before. When you're looking for shark eyes, look for that squirrel. All right, so far so good. Oh, the surf did get kind of close. Here's what we found so far. For those of you new to the stream, let me set these down. That's a common jingle. This is a coral frag. Oh, look at this. Now this is what we're looking for. This is a trophy. That's a tusk shell. All right, now that's a good question. There's um, a speckled talon. And we got some color here, some flats, picked up a little bit of trash. This is a pretty cool looking calico. All right, so let me show you the gulf. Let me back up a little bit. And there's another, that one's broken. See if there's any fish jumping or any dolphins. The question from Susan. Have you ever found anything strange that isn't a shell? Yes. So I have literally walked thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles and <laughs> driven more than that of Florida beaches. And one year I went like, it was almost a full year straight. If it wasn't for, wait, let me... I'm going to let y'all keep looking there. I'm going to grab this shell. If it wasn't for her family holiday, there's a calico, I would have kept going. So it was almost 350 days straight. And you would think in that time, yes, I would find a few strange items. There's a jackknife clam. Let's see. All right. So... The strangest, I would say, was a coin. Oh, here's a sand dollar. All right, let me go slowly. Turn a little bit right about here. And there's a sand dollar. Was a coin 
from a New Jersey crematorium. Um, I don't recall if there was a date on it, but the name was on there. And I asked a friend, I sent the picture, I said, look at this. And he said, well, just toss it back out. I don't know if someone had recently deposited the ashes or, you know, it. that was on the Atlantic side. And that was in St. Augustine. I was there for work and I thought, well, I'm going to go shell in, of course. And there's another speckled talon. So that was probably the oddest. And then... Now this one sticks in my mind. I think it's still on my desk. I found, all right, let me think. It's not called a, one of you might might know. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. A memory band or an honor band, but it was from Marines. And it had all their names on it. I'm trying to think if that was Operation Enduring Freedom. But I asked a friend, and we actually were able to find one of the family members. And um, the family member lived, I don't know, so interestingly, the Emerald Coast has a lot of um, military people, both retired and active. And then, you know, family. And... Um, I reached out, told the person, sent a photo and said, <clears throat> excuse me, said, I found this, a friend who was, I think she was retired Air Force. She gave me some, I don't even remember what it's called. This was years ago. There's a Sarath, nobody's home. She gave me some website and you could actually read about, um, you know, that person's service. And I, I'm getting goosebumps telling you all a story it, it was it was just awesome and the individual said no I think it was meant for you to find you keep it and you know basically good day because everyone was like are you gonna return it and I said well most of the the people on here I mean most at least three quarters they were they were deceased and um, oh look at this like I said, the battles were were on this report. There's a lettered olive. So that was here's another lettered olive. So that one was that was you know that gave me goosebumps. As soon as someone told me what it was, I was like, I I gotta find out what to do with this. Because I think, oh, look at this. There's a Carl frag. And a little piece of a barnacle. There's a piece of an acorn barnacle. And if you didn't know, they're invasive here in Florida. And sometimes, oh, look at this. Sand dollar make you holla. Look at this. I don't know. Did anyone, let me check the chat. Did anyone say, uh, BBD, you missed that one. That's a pretty big one. So anyway, Susan, that was, okay, I got wet on that one. Then you can see the Gulf reclaims its own. That was a little long-winded, but that was, um, that band, that was pretty awesome, finding that. Oh, here, here we go, another sand dollar. So Karen wants to know, do they replenish the beaches in... Pensacola. All right, um, this is going to be. I'll try not to make it as as long as the last story. In Florida, due to hurricanes, we lose some of the beach, and you know a lot of people live either right behind the dunes or in the the second and third tier on the the barrier islands. So it's kind of common for the state to replenish beaches. And you need a, a federal permit for that. I mean, if, if this was 
Panama City Beach. Let me let me go over here and draw a little. Okay, I'm probably gonna get wet. Let me go up here. So if you were in a condo a couple years ago on Panama City Beach, you would be looking down at the water's edge like this. But during their restoration, and they're pumping offshore sand into the area, they extended the beach out like that. So it's kind of cool if you would have had a time lapse. This is pretty awesome watching, you know, right here, the beach being restored out to there. But people ask if beaches are renourished because a lot of times it will bring in the shells. And let me tell you, the shelling was awesome there. Oh, you're welcome, Susan. Thanks for checking in. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe to the channel. And please give the, the live stream a thumbs up. And I jump around. Well, let me see. Let me, let me see if I can turn this around. I don't know if I'm in the camera or not. I still got my morning jacket on, but good morning to you. I know you're not here for me. You're here for the shells. So let me get back behind the camera. Um, Pensacola Beach and I think I think Navarre Beach and Pensacola Beach were both renourished the same year which was 2016 oh I thought there was a sand dollar so Navarre Beach received quite a bit of damage from Hurricane Sally and was approved for renourishment at that time and that was 2020 but it hasn't taken place yet for a variety of reasons oh here we go let me turn look at that little lightning look these little ones are pretty cool and Pensacola Beach uh, there's there's no word no talk of any renourishment project so you have Navarre Beach with an approved plan don't know when it's gonna start Every, you know, last couple years, it's always like, okay, it's going to start this fall. It's going to start this fall. I hear it might start this year. Don't know. And then from uh, the Gulf Shores area west, oh, wait, sorry, east, east to Florida, that was re-nourished this past winter. But that didn't really do too much for shelling. I went there once and was kind of like, eh, I don't need to drive two hours to shell you know I mean this was way better than what I saw over there even with their renourishment going on so there's there's your answer to the Pensacola question let's get back to shelling here see if we can find one more and for those of you that are new you go and watch some of my videos it's like all right I know I'm going to get grounded, so I got to get going. Just one more shell. A couple scallops. See, like I was saying earlier, look how pretty they are. And when I started, I mean, the fishermen that were here, they're like, yeah, there's some sand dollars down here. And let me back up. I mean, this extended way over here. But as I always say, the Gulf reclaims its own. When you find a spot to shell, or you see, like in my Florida shelling report, you see an area that's popping off, if you're able to, call a boss and say, I'm going shelling. Or just sneak out and go shelling. But don't quote me on that. Because, look at here, the Gulf reclaims its own. All right, I see the waves are coming up, so let me go over here, go through the shells one last time. This is what we've been finding. Where'd that tusk go? There's the trophy of the day. I mean, yeah, I know people love sand dollars, and I do too. I love sand dollars, but when I'm micro-shelling, that's what I'm looking for. And picked up a little bit of trash. Found some calico scallops. I talked about the crafts that Crafty Mama makes with those. And she's been making... All right, let me think. You know the... Um, you know the clips, the air clips for vehicles? She's been making air fresheners out of those as well and using sand dollars of all things. That's a speckled telling. Uh-oh, 
Someone's saying on their way. That's why I'm like, people are like, where are you? Um, I don't know, I'm parked somewhere. Snoozeroni's gonna come down here looking for me. Another speckled talon and some flats. Oh, this is why I gotta clean this up. There's a flat that almost got taken away. All right, so thank you all for coming out. I am sweating. Like I said, I still got my morning jacket on. We have been micro shelling live on Pensacola Beach. And it has been awesome interacting with you all. People from Australia and all over. If you haven't already subscribed, you can jump on over to the channel. Beach Bum and Dad. More videos there than you can shake a shell at. You can binge all day and probably in the next week. Let me show you the water one last time. Because as soon as this is saved, you can sneak a little bit of shelling at work. Just turn the sound down. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I I know there are sand dollars in there, but I'm not going to jump in. And then let's look for dolphin one last time. Cheers to you, Susan. Thanks for checking in. And it's midnight. Oh, boy. Thanks for staying up to check out the live stream. So, again, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'm headed out of here. Y'all take care.